Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. So today what I'm doing is getting messages for the next two months. So I was thinking today, I was like, what should I do this pick a card reading on? I've already done November's reading and I was like, there's two months left in the year. Let's get a message of what it's going to look like. So what I'm gonna have you do is pick a pile number or a spiritual tool. So this is exciting. Pile number one or the seduction oil. Pile number two, the Kali Yantra. Pile number three, the mermaid knife. Pile number four, the butterfly oil. Which one calls you in? Which one draws you in? Which one are you more gravitated towards? Because each tool here and each pile number has a message for you. There's a reason that it sparks an emotion or a feeling or a tingle inside of you. So go ahead and pick which one you are interested in. A lot of these products, except this, this was actually a gift, but a lot of these products are on my Etsy shop that I hand make myself and I charge over a full moon and a new moon before I send it out to you. Uh, so if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below. But with that being said, let's get started. Let's see what the, what the next two months of 2021 is going to look like for you. Okay, so for everybody that picked pal number one or the seduction oil, I'm going to go ahead and lay the cards out as I'm reading them. So the first card that comes up here is the Page of Cups. Interesting. This card is telling me right off the bat when it comes to your sexuality, your sensuality, sex, seduction, allure, and charm, and all of these things, I feel like that's going to be a, a huge focus for the next two months for you. And a lot of it has to do with balancing out emotions. A lot of emotions that need to be balanced out, organized, let go, brought in, whatever needs to happen. But in this case, it's all about your sexuality and your sensuality. So a lot of you are going to pay so much closer attention to that. And a lot of you are... Uh, paying a lot more attention to your body, you know, maybe you have been neglecting it for a while, but the next two months I see a lot of you paying more attention to your hair and the things you wear and what you are putting into your body too. Food, liquid, water, all of that stuff. Now here I have the Ten of Swords, but it's upside down. Ten of Swords upside down is telling me so, okay, when the Ten of Swords is right side up, it's telling me that you are walking away from something. But this Ten of Swords is telling me you've already walked away from something and you're just trying to deal with the, the repercussions of walking away from something. Maybe you walked away from a relationship. Maybe you walked away from a job. Maybe you walked away from a house. Whatever it is you walked away, maybe a business deal, you know? whatever it is that you walked away from, it was really, really good for you to do that emotionally, but you punish yourself because maybe financially everybody's like, oh my God, you're crazy. But really, you had to for your mental health, for your emotional state, and for all of that. So you had to. Now, the next card that we have here that came up is the Eight of Pentacles, but the Eight of Pentacles is upside down. So this goes hand in hand with this Ten of Swords card upside down because... Eight of Pentacles is when there's a lot of help coming in and resources coming in and just a lot of help and community and networking and all of that stuff. But for the next two months for you specifically, you don't want any help. You don't want no networking. You don't want anybody else's voice in your head. You don't want anybody else's opinion, their thoughts, their feedback, their criticism. This next two months for you specifically is just to develop your own self specifically when it comes to sensuality and sexuality because you picked this oil you can get this oil in my shop but if you don't let me tell you like if you get some catnip and some damiana and some oil that you really really love um coconut oil grapeseed oil whatever just put those two ingredients of course mine has over 12 ingredients but i want to give you like two of two of the really good ones that has to do with your reading specifically and then if you want, put your favorite lipstick on and kiss the bottle all over it and put your mark on this lipstick and use that oil. Okay, 
That's a secret tidbit that I would only even give on OnlyFans. On my OnlyFans, I give a lot of um, like sexual spells, readings, rituals, healing, all of that stuff. Okay? If you're interested. Now, the next card that we have here is Soul Family. Call in your tribe and you don't have to do it alone. Isn't that interesting? Like, this side of your reading is all about you want to do everything alone. But it also scares you to do things alone. And so I want you to know that the next two months, your tribe family will come in. I want you to know that the cards are telling you to follow your own path. Don't look for other people's advice, their opinions, their bullshit, their criticism, whatever it is. Don't look for it. The right people will come to you with the right energy. I feel like that's all I need to say about that. Your soul family will come to you um, as long as you start following your own path. Okay, we have a few more cards here. So we have here the Seven of Cups. Y distractions. So many distractions. Your brain is overwhelmed with thoughts and stress and anxiety and who knows obligations fears you know responsibilities all that stuff there is too much on your head too much in your head too much in your brain and then we have this card right here and it says be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible so when you are dreaming you're all over the place. You're erratic. You, you don't trust anybody. You don't want anybody's help. You want to do everything on your own. But here's the thing. The universe hears that and it will help you do that because the universe wants you to stand independent, stand on your own, be a boss on your own, and you will be. But don't forget the people and situations and energies that are helping you too. Because there are, they are there. They're there. And I think the next two months, you get to see who they are, why they're there, how they're helping you, how genuine they are. And it's going to be actually really eye-opening. So you have two more cards here. First card being the King of Swords. King of Swords here is upside down. So the King of Swords is somebody that is very sharp with their tongue, very, very cold with their tongue. Um, very blunt, honest, and probably even a little bit aggressive with their words. So the King of Swords is somebody, you know, and it might be you that somebody just like, you don't think before you speak and you just say whatever is on your mind. And maybe a lot of you have not been like that before because this Page of Cups is telling me you have been so careful with your words. And now all of a sudden, you snap at anything. And the next two months is going to teach you to mind your tongue. It's going to teach you sensuality. It's going to teach you how to use your tongue and how to use your words and how to use the tone of your voice in your favor. It's interesting that you got two cards that are talking about the present moment. So here it says gift, treasure, revelation of your own value and nowness. So when you speak, a lot of you speak, whether like in past tense, everything you relate to the past or everything you relate to a future, a potential future, like what if this happens or oh my God, what if that happens or I want this in the future. It's not like any of you are living in the present moment and it's just because the present moment makes you so anxious. Very interesting that you picked this seduction oil because this oil pulls you back into the moment. Sex pulls you back into the moment. If it's uh, if it's consensual, if it's res like you know, if it's respected and sacred and all of that stuff, mutual, then it pulls you into the moment. And the fact that you guys picked this, I feel like a lot of you are tapping into your sensuality and your sexuality and learning to be in the moment. And the next 2 months will teach you how to be in the moment and not fret so much over the past or the, the future or be distracted so much because you're losing your libido. And the next two months are going to show you how to get it back. So that is going to be your reading. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in my oil, head over to my Etsy shop. 
if you want more readings from me I've been doing kind of daily reads on my Patreon. Um, if you're interested, go check it out and I will talk to you very, very soon. For everybody that picked pile number two or the Kali Yantra. So I'm excited to get into your reading. I have not looked at the cards yet. So let's get started. Let's set this up and see what the next two months are gonna be looking like for you. First thing I see here is a lot of returning back to what makes you feel beautiful. A lot of you might have lost sight of what makes you feel good and what makes you feel beautiful and pretty and glamorous and confident. So here it says the temple and the birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess energy, and treating as sacred. So let's get a clarification. Let's see what she is talking about. Something in your life that you have been wanting to come to a completion or maybe that you're scared is about to come to a completion or end or come to a full circle, it's not. There's so much more uh, guidance to be learned and heard through the situation that you're in. Now, it could be a situation with your partner, your job, your house. I don't know what it is, but there's things for you to learn. A lot of you I see that... There's a lot of trust issues. This could be for a relationship and there's things that still need to be healed. And the uh, for some of you, this relationship is too sacred to just walk away. So the world card is upside down because the world card foretells of an ending of something. And here, this is not ending. There's too much beauty here. To, there's roads to be opened. Okay, there's beauty to be found. There's confidence to be unlocked there's guidance that your guides and ancestors and all that still need to give you so this is not the end of a journey and only you know what that is so i can't tell you because it's different for each person but the next two months there is opportunities coming there's roads being unlocked there is emotions being unlocked and there's a loyalty coming in there's genuine relationships coming in there is this very sacred energy coming in and it's not the ending. It cannot be the ending of something because there's way too much to learn. Now we also have here judgment and it's upside down. So again, a lot of you, either you are being way too hard on yourself and the next two months, the universe is gonna teach you to stop being so hard on yourself or maybe you're being too hard on other people or maybe there's a relationship here that just needs love and guidance and feminine energy, that nurturing energy, that kindness and listening and emotional, like a healthy emotional exchange, you know? We have here the death card. Very interesting that you guys picked the Kali Yantra and then the death card came up because I feel like in this death card, she shows her presence. Kali is death. She's mother death and she gives death to everything that does not serve you, that you are clinging on to, that you cannot let go of yourself. She's the mother figure that comes to help her children. And sometimes, you know how mother, like if a kid is sitting there eating candy, eating candy, eating candy, the mother has to come intervene and take the candy away. Now the kid is probably gonna be so angry that the mom took the candy away. It doesn't understand why the mom took the candy away. It, it, it's this thing that makes the kid feel so good, taste so good. Why is the mom taking it away? We don't understand, but the mom does. And in this case, we don't understand a lot of things, but the mom does. And in this case, the mom is Gali because you picked her and Gali is death. So the next two months, it's a lot of giving death to a lot of things. And you know what? For a lot of you, it's such a release and it's so needed. And a lot of you, I also feel like you're going to be giving death to things that you were so scared to lose. But when you give it up because you know why you're giving it up, it's so liberating. It's a different kind of a death. And the death card in tarot, in my experience, and with my clients, even with myself, and I've been getting the death card a lot, almost every single day. And usually it would scare me and it scares my clients too, but I always wanna tell you guys, there is no way ever that a, the death card in any tarot deck will pop up if there's not something new ready to pop out 
as soon as something dies. So if it's a bad job, right? You're scared to let go of the bad job. But the death card will only pop up if there's something that your spirits have already lined up for you. So when the death, the death card starts coming up, people get so scared. But I get excited because I'm like, okay, something's ready. Something is ready. Something is being ready. Something is being worked on in the spiritual realm. And I always like to get my clients and myself also excited because it's such a good message. Something bad is dying that we would not let die. And the only reason that it's dying is because there's something new put in its place and it's waiting to be born. I don't even know what kind of example to give. <laughs> but I hope you guys understand what I said. Okay, the next card that we have here is the Two of Cups. This is mutual agreement. This is agreement. This is reconciliation. This is coming together. Now, this could be for a lot of you, a, a relationship that is coming together. For a lot of you, it's a business deal. It's, you know, the loan of a house going through. Two of Cups is something going through. Something, two coming together as one. So it could be so many different things, but two as coming together as one. And then with the Kali Yantra and the death next to it, it means that these two could only come together as one if the illusions were seen and death to those illusions. And I think you know what those are. And the next two months, you're going to get a lot of help from your spirits to move forward in the direction that you need to move forward. Look at this. The Ace of Cups. You're going to be presented with so much emotional bliss, emotional healing. Cups is all about our heart, our emotions, our feelings. And the Ace of Cups is just an outpouring of all of these things from your spirits, from the universe. So I feel like there's just going to, if the next two months you get to tap into your emotions, but in such a a beautiful way whereas before because of the illusions that you had and the judgments you had and because of your expectations of the final result which the world card is all about the final result you couldn't do that right we have two more cards here the first card is Akash your guidance is divinely guided Look at this, you guys. So Akash right here, and then we have guidance. So pay attention the next two months because your ancestors might be near, your spirit guides will be near, and it's very hard to differentiate coincidence from synchronicity. So just pay attention to everything. You hear a song on the radio, pay attention if you keep hearing it over and over again. You hear a specific word, pay attention if you keep hearing it over and over again synchronicity will be a big thing playing out the next two months especially when it comes to your emotions and giving death to something so you might be seeing a lot of spiders scorpions the color black the reaper santa muerte um you might also be seeing a lot of doves and dolphins and when you see doves and dolphins pay attention to who you are around in those moments because these are people that you can trust so pay attention to that the last card that you have here is embrace your emotions. How funny, right? Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. This next two months is all about letting your feelings come to the surface. Feelings that you, some feelings are illusions and they're fake and they're guilt and driven and they're, um, you know, um, fear driven, fear based and stuff like that. So. The next two months, you really get to see that and you really get to release yourself from it because I, I want to turn this card upside down so you can see. The Judgment card releases you from feeling trapped and isolated and suffocated. And so there's death to that energy of feeling like that. And maybe a lot of you felt like there was no closure, there was no end, there was no final chapter to something. And the next two months, you finally find it. You will find it in the best way, the most loving way, the most protective way. Okay, so if you guys are interested in the Kali Yantra, these are charged, these have been charging on my altar for um, almost six months. Uh, so if you're interested, 
uh, go ahead and head over to my Etsy shop and that is your reading for the rest the next two months I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very soon Bye. for everybody that picked pile number three or the mermaid knife I don't know what the cards look like but I'm going to set them up on the table right now so the first card that we have here for you guys for the next two months is the wheel of fortune so the wheels are turning here and it seems like the wheels are turning in your favor because the wheel of fortune will always turn in your favor so something in your life is going to be turning making a full turnaround like full circle something is going to shift and change here now the next card that i have is the knight of swords now, when the Knight of Swords pops up, this is very fast-paced movement. So whatever is changing, it's very fast, you guys. Are, are, is there a wedding, like a really fast wedding? Is there a really surprise pregnancy? Is there like, oh, a random opportunity came through and it's like the opportunity of your dreams? Is it a, a turnaround of events where things change, where you have been waiting for this change for so long. It's very good news, you guys. This is, you know, a lot of you I see that you're so driven and you're so ambitious, you're so assertive, okay? And you, you've you acted very quickly and with speediness and swiftness, you rush into things, you take shortcuts and stuff like that. And a lot of people, and a lot of times in your life, it didn't work out. But in the next two months, somehow something like that kind of an energy worked out for you. Okay, so these are what the cards are saying. And the next card I have here is the High Priestess. High Priestess card is a very good card because it comes right next to the Knight of Swords. So this rushed energy, this like, you know, I just want to do this. I, I'm excited for this idea and I'm going to go and go ahead and, you know, walk right into it. It's that energy, but it's being balanced out with this high priestess. So every time you do get that erratic kind of energy within the next two months, that side of you that is like that high priestess side is going to come in and be like, hey, let's think a little and then we'll, we'll move forward. So whatever this is that is changing, you are going to be moving forward with it very, very fast, but also very smart. So pay attention to all the ideas, the advice, and all that stuff that's coming in because it's going to come in fast. So write things down. Keep a notebook. Um, there's going to be a lot of information being presented to you that is going to help you with this change. And this change is actually very good for you spiritually, especially, I see. Um, and then let's go ahead into some other cards. We have the death card. The death card here is... We had this in, I think it was pile number two. If you want, you can go check out that reading because it might have some really beneficial messages for you where the death card, in my opinion, with my clients and in my life specifically, is a card where it comes to tell you that something is leaving, something is on its way out of your life, but it will never leave and it will never be on its way out if there was nothing in its place already set up. So your spirits, your ancestors, the universe already has something set up. It's just you may be clinging on to something that you need to let go of. And so this newness, this change can come all the way into fruition. Okay? Now, Look at this card, you guys. Who or what is triggering you? So the next two months, I, I really do feel like you get to give death to the people and situations and jobs and energies and traumas and anxieties and whatever else it is, addictions, so that you can move forward to this Wheel of Fortune energy because something good is coming in for you guys. Something good is coming in. Look at this card, you guys vulnerability a lot of you don't let yourself be vulnerable you put this front where you're so strong and you're ice cold knight of swords okay very blunt with their words very assertive with their words um tells you how it is and a knight of swords is a person that is always on guard like look at him the sword comes first and then i'll speak to you after when i feel safe then i'll speak to you how many of you relate to that? You don't let yourself be vulnerable because of your triggers. 
Now the next two months are really going to show you it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be soft and it's okay to put the sword down. <laughs> it's okay to give death to these very strong defensive mannerisms that we have um, really embedded within ourselves. Now the pocket knife is very interesting because it's a pocket knife, right? It's defense. It's a weapon. Is it? I don't know. I don't know the legalities. But but it's a mermaid on the pocket knife. This sensual being. This very beautiful. She's naked, vulnerable, colorful, free-spirited being on a weapon. I just thought that was so insane. Like, And I think it has so much to do with your reading. Because look... You have become a weapon to everything in your life. And I think it, this next few months is going to, next two months specifically, is just going to teach you to and, and change things in a way where you can still be that strong person, but you can also give death to the things that trigger you and don't allow you to be vulnerable and tender and speak your emotions and speak your truth. Stop hiding things inside of your heart. The last card for you is um, back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. A lot of you may have uh, given birth to certain desires because of certain points in your life where you were a different person and maybe your desires are changing and you feel guilty for it or maybe your desires are changing and the people around you make you feel guilty for it. And, you know, and... It, there's no use for you to be defensive. It, 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 there is use for you to give death to feeling guilty for what you desire. Okay, You are a free spirit, but you're also strong. And the next two months are going to teach you what you need to do in order to get what you want. A few things I want to tell you to work with. Work with mermaid energy, water energy, scorpion or Scorpio energy will be really good for you. Wheel of Fortune card. I if you have a tarot deck, pull out the Wheel of Fortune card, light candles near it, light incense near it. If you don't, print out the Wheel of Cor Fortune card from Google. Any Wheel of Fortune card from any deck that you resonate with, print it out, keep it with you. Work that card. Put it in a honey jar. Put it under your mattress. This card helps things get moving, but also moving in your favor, your fortune. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Okay, for everybody that picked pile number four or the butterfly oil, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So I have not seen the cards yet. I'm excited to get into what your reading is all about. Let's see the first card. Three of Wands. Okay. There is a burst of energy coming in for the next two months for you guys. Lots of ideas, passion, lust, sexual energy, lots of just getting this idea and then you're just wanting to do it. Excitement and just this is a really good energy that I'm starting off uh, your reading with. A lot of you are leaving your comfort zone. A lot of you are, um, a lot of your choices and actions and behaviors and reactions are going to be based off of passion, excitement, things like that. Really good. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a really good energy as well because this is where there's a very fast-paced energy coming in in your emotions. So something emotional is going to come in very, very fast-paced. And in this case, I see it's a lot of curiosity. It's a curiosity for something that you feel and it just really stirs up your emotions and you get excited. A lot of excitement energy coming through again. Um, Knight of Cups is also romance. It is a lot of you are going to be focusing more on beauty. This Pisces energy, that fish energy, water, cups is emotions. In tarot, cup suit is all about your emotions and water. And this is... You know, a lot of you are going to be opening your heart a lot more and following your heart and working a lot more through love, but love through yourself, which I do want to say is going to cause you to be aggressive to certain things, people, behaviors, situations that you just are done with. 
three of wands that you're just like you know these situations these things don't make me feel good and i don't have to put up with them anymore a lot of you are going to be speaking up for yourself and following your heart when you speak up for yourself whereas before you might have felt guilty for speaking up for yourself and became introverted or maybe you thought if you spoke up on this matter that you were weird or different or whatever the heck but now the next two months is just gonna teach you like fuck that shit if i don't like it i don't like it this is my boundary and like i find so many of you guys finding your voice and that's why you picked my butterfly oil if you guys can get your hands on this butterfly oil it's one of my favorite creations and it, it i made it for me because i was inspired by the butterfly because I started seeing butterflies when I made the biggest move of my life. Moving away from everything and everyone that I knew all my life. And the butterfly was my catalyst. It helped me go. Like it helped, it showed itself to me. It kept showing itself to me. And for some reason it kept, I felt like, okay, if I see the butterfly, I'm okay. Like for some reason I just felt that. And I made this butterfly oil in honor of that and yeah so you guys are on that journey too where if you guys see butterflies like just keep fo keep following it keep doing what you're doing it's come to show you that you're coming out of that cocoon stage you know your wings are sprouting just keep going <laughs> um actually i have a few caterpillars in my garden if you guys are interested go to my patreon to see my garden but that's really exciting butterflies are just such a big thing for me uh, I also read somewhere that butterflies like to feed off the blood of dead people. I don't know how true that is or what, if that's even true, but it kind of fascinated me. I just, I didn't fact check it, but if you guys know about that, let me know in the comments down below what you guys know about butterflies. And if you have my butterfly oil, how does it smell? It's one of my favorite scents ever. <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, the next card that came up for you is the Five of Cups. A lot of cups energy here is where emotional nostalgia, like you guys are holding on to the past, holding on to something of the past. It could be a past memory, a trigger, an anxiety, a trauma that maybe you have not allowed yourself to truly let go. And these next two months are going to teach you, hey, it's time to let it go. It's time to become comfortable with being uncertain. It's time to become comfortable with taking risks and throwing your wands out there. Look at that, right? It's time to be comfortable with change and shift, which is this Knight of Cups, that Pisces energy. Pisces is the fish, a very watery sign. And the Five of Cups also talks about a lot of you focused on your regret. But the next two months, you unwind that regret. And instead of focusing on the spilled cups, you're going to be turning around to look at those cups that are filled. And it's going to change your world five of cups is also a lot of you that are going to finally get closure on grieving or mourning or loss heartbreak things like that it's closure uh, and you know you really kind of get to find peace within your emotions in the next two months which i love for you and then look what happens the empress comes up the Empress is a feminine figure that is so strong, which means a very emotionally strong person here. And that's beautiful because that was a journey for you to get to that place. And the next two months, you get to see it. You get to see how strong you actually become. And the Empress is also pregnancy. So a lot of you might be getting pregnant within the next two months or having your baby within the next two months hearing of pregnancies around you um, or the babies, you know, new babies being born around you. The Empress is also Venus energy. So a lot of you are going to be focusing on beauty a lot in the next two months. You know, a lot of you, you know, may be getting plastic surgery, might be changing your hair, getting a haircut, getting uh, procedures done, maybe getting a whole new wardrobe, whatever it is that makes you feel good. That's what you're going to be doing. I would love to get my lips done, <laughs> but I'm so scared. But like I would in the next two months, who knows? Like I would love to do that. But it's a lot of you are just going to be 
focusing on some part of your beauty. A lot of you might be changing up the way you dress, maybe changing your lipstick colors, something different that has to do with your beauty, and it's gonna make you feel very good. Like, it's gonna make you feel fulfilled and nurtured, and it's gonna make you feel really confident and stable. There's this energy of stability coming through the way that you look. Also, the next two months I see that your relationships are happy and they're stable, even though they may have their rhythms and their cycles of growth and rebirth, they're going to be pretty good. And let's go ahead and see the next few cards. You have three more cards. So the next few months I also see a lot of you getting grounded, which a lot of you are going to spend more time with nature, a lot of you are going to spend more time barefoot, um, gardening with soil, with wood, with clay, incense, like stuff like that, like plants, herbs, extracts, oils. I see a lot of you working with things like that. Um, food, ingredients, like stuff like that, like earthly things. And a lot of you just working with that the next two months and it really helps you. Now, if you are an empath, or if you are highly sensitive, or if you, you know, just feel things a little bit more heightened than others, which I do, I feel like now I'm learning that about myself, and that it's okay. You just have to find a way to navigate through it. And sometimes you are ex extra sensitive to emotions and reactions and all this, all this stuff. But there's, of course, ways to help yourself. And I feel like the next two months for a lot of you is gonna help you. Grounding is a big thing when sometimes we get so erratic in our mind. Look at the butterfly, right? Always flying up in the sky. But where its roots was from that caterpillar, it was earthly. Isn't that crazy? Your reading is so synchronistic. Um, and then we have this card right here, which is the soul cage card, okay? So rescue and escape from captivity and restriction. So for a lot of you, the past was holding you captive. The past, something about the past, something in the past was holding you restricted. For a lot of you, it might be a court case that goes through in the next two months. If Work with butterflies. If you have a court case coming up and stuff, work with butterflies too. Um, now, a lot of you, it is some kind of like maybe there, you were stuck in a situation where you're trying to get, get out of a rental agreement or something and you find it finally happens within the, the next two months. Something happens within the next two months that kind of unlocks you from something, releases you from something. And that's the whole butterfly message. And then the last card that comes up for you is consider your foundation. So look at how committed you are to love. So sometimes when we want to attract love, we have to heal our own relationship with the love that we have for ourselves, because it has so much to do with the love that we attract. If we treat ourselves like shit, we're going to attract a partner that's going to treat us like shit. If we don't respect ourselves, we're going to attract people that don't respect us. It's just, if you notice, that's what happens. Like, look at a very, very miserable person in your life. They probably attract so many miserable people to them. And then look at a like a really high vibe person. They probably attract so many opportunities and so many like good memories and good, you know, uh, experiences to themselves. So yeah, that is your reading group number four. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in my butterfly oil, head over to my Etsy shop and I should have a few in stock. And I will talk to you very, very soon.